This is a Bill F3 power chair. This power chair has electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet. This chair only has seven miles. <clears throat> it has other features on the chairs that we're going to cover as we go along. But the first thing we're going to show you is how to make the seat tilt, recline, and all that. You can do all that through the joystick or through the switch box. I'm going to use the switch box real quick. Right here, but it's quicker for me. So if you push the first button, the seat will start going back. This is called electric tilt. Tilt is when the bottom goes back. Of course, it's going to take the legs. It's going to take the back as they're all connected together. This is called electric tilt. This is good for relieving pressure off your bottom. If you have a, or just relaxing or relieving pressure off your back, okay? The next thing I'm going to show is called the electric feet. So <clears throat> these, of course, are adjustable. You know, if you're five feet tall, six foot two, we can move those out to fit your need, okay? Matter of fact, this, this whole chair is adjustable, so whatever size you are, we usually adjust them before we ship them. So here you would have really good circulation. Uh, I'm going to bring it back down just to show you, even if you're halfway tilted, this would be about halfway here, you would still be, uh, your legs would still be higher than your body, okay? So we're going to bring the tilt all the way back down. So that's two features right there. And the last one's called the electric recline. The, oh, let me put the legs back up. The electric recline is in the back right here, goes back by itself. Nope, did the wrong one again. This is tilt. There we go. So the recline is this going back by itself. You can see it's going back by itself. You can see it right there. This is called the electric recline, folks. There we go. Then we're going to see how far down it's going to go. So this is as far as it will go. You can see you're fully reclined in this position. So I'm going to bring the recline back up. And I'm going to bring the legs back down at the same time. I'm doing two buttons at once. You can do that through the joystick with one knob on the joystick. When you're outside, leave those legs out a little bit. But this one has plenty of clearance. Now, <clears throat> this, is shut up. this is set up for a short person. This is why there's so much clearance. So those legs, if you're taller, would be closer to the ground. So, so far we've covered the electric tilt the electric recline, the electric legs. Let's look at the base on this chair. This is an F3 standing for front wheel drive. F is a front wheel. So you have your front wheel here with your motor right back in there, but there's nothing in front of that front wheel except this little tip wheel which is not on the ground. Okay, it's there for protection. And you have a back caster wheel here. You have two suspension on this side. You have a shock here and you have the same one here. So you have two of these. This covers the front end, this covers this fork right here. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. You have a total of four shock suspension for this chair. You also have a motor back here. You can't see it. It's behind here. It goes directly to the hub of your wheel. There's a lever right here. You can see where my finger is. And there's a little sticker. You can't really see it anywhere right there. But if, if, you, if I want to push this chair manually, I would turn the power off. And the reason you want the power off, you want to make sure there's no resistance in the motor. Power off. Push this lever down and watch. <clears throat> you can see how it's, well, I was going to say how easy it will, but the back wheel has to be lined up too. But you can see it's in neutral right now. Okay? When you're done, make sure you do both motors on both sides, put it back in gear, okay? So you have no problem there, okay? So you have an anchor point here to secure your chair. There's another anchor point right behind the fork right here. Two on this side, two on the opposite side. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport this chair. Okay? Let's look at the turning radius on this chair. So if you are in the house, of course, if you're in your house, you want to have the legs as close in as you want. You want to bring those all the way in. <coughs> Just like this. Because if you're in the house, you don't want the big turning radius. So now, this is what it would look like if you were in your house. If you turn a circle. Let's look at the seat on this chair. So the seat on this chair is 18 by 18. As I said, we can put a bigger seat, a smaller seat. We can adjust all that. This is kind of a foam gel seat. 
The arms are definitely gel. These are gel arms. These are the high, these are real expensive gel arms. This is custom. You also have a swing away joystick. As you've noticed, the joystick's on the left side. If you're right handed, no problem. You can put the joystick here and it'll swing to the right side. You have a safety belt right here that comes with your chair. You have lateral pad. These are nice. They can be taken off. So if you don't want those on there, you would just release. You would just release them and take them off. They're fully adjustable. They can be put back and forth, in and out, as far as you want. These are kind of in quite a bit. They keep your knees on the foot plate, which is very helpful for some people. I'm going to put the leg back out, just like if you were going outside. The back of the chair, you have a headrest right here. This headrest is fully adjustable. You can see all the adjustments, one, two, three, four, and you have some more in here. You have hooks right here if you want to carry a backpack. There's a backpack hooks right there. You also have reflectors back here. These are not lights, these are reflectors. And right over here, there's a power button. I'm going to, you're going to hear it. I've just turned the power off on the chair. When we ship these chairs, we always turn the power off. So you have to go right here. You'll feel the button on top. Put it back in gear. I put it back in power, I should say. And then your power is back on. So, let's bring the chair here. So when you charge this chair, you'll take your Permobil charger and you'll plug it right below your joystick right here. And as soon as the light goes to full, you're fully charged, okay? This may not be the charger that goes with this chair. We use all different types of chargers. This chair uh, weighs about 350 pounds, 375 pounds, so it's not a lightweight chair. Um, so let's recap. Um, I think we've covered everything on the chair. So a recap, this is a Permobil F3 front wheel drive. It has seven miles. It has the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the flip up arm if you transfer from the side. It has the gel arms. It has the uh, switch, the swing away joystick, the lateral knee pad, the safety belt, the anchor point, the suspension. Just a great power chair. Blue in color. So if you're looking for a really nice power chair that's good inside and outside, the F3 is usually very popular for that reason. So this chair is available right now. Mark and my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.